Hi guys, Frostfang here, and welcome back once again, of course, to another Paladins video. We're going to be playing some Andro today, haven't said that sentence in absolutely ages. We're going to be playing Reversal Andro, and you know, I was away for a week semi-recently, and I missed a bunch of videos, and I'm still really, really rusty because of it, and I felt like playing Andro because we can play around his Reversal, so that the only thing I really have to do is hopefully get in the way of people, take a ton of damage, and then throw it back in their face. This is a ton of fun. I played with it before I made videos on it before. We are hopefully going to be getting the patch soon for 2.04 because there's a bunch of stuff in that that I still have to make videos on. I've been checking the PTS every day and it's still not coming up. I don't think it'll be up until it ends up going into live. Interested also to see what they have in store for the patch after that one. We might be getting a new character. I'm honestly not sure I know as much as you guys do unless there's high risk people watching this video in which case DM me. Send me all the deets. Looks like we're going to be playing Marauder's Port Onslaught for the first map which is one that I don't think I've played very much Andrew on. I haven't played Marauder's Port all that much so I'm glad it's still coming up because I'm I'm still getting used to it and it is and it is actually starting to slowly become a map that I actually really really enjoy playing on just because it's a lot of fun you've got a lot of different areas where you can go a lot of verticality as well the only thing I hate on this map is going against Makoa where he just stands through the thing hooks you off and then you die although we can kind of counter that a little bit with Andro I guess I should use a skin booster and I'll try out this skin I think I did play with this in a video I remember playing with this in a video I remember at least seeing this here so I think I have played with it before but other than that video I haven't touched it so I might as well use one of my boosters and we'll try it out and then anybody else can also pick any skins, although I think I probably activated it too late for them to be able to use it properly. We've got a Ceres, we've got a Ruckus, got a Khan and a Cassie. That is flank, damage, healer, double tank, and we're up against Damba, Moji, Ash, Cassie, Eevee. So they have double flank instead of the double tank. We have a Master Ruckus. Not really anything else worth pointing out. Level 72 Ceres is pretty cool. 60 Eevee. Everything else is pretty standard. Let's go ahead and grab God Slayer and the loadout. In this case, I don't feel like I need as much reset. I think I probably benefit more from a little bit of extra speed, so we'll go for this this one, this weapon, looks really, really cool. Yeah, I definitely have played with this before because I remember the weird shading thing on the ball in the middle. Yeah, when you inspect it, you can see it really clearly. It's kind of like distorted and there's a bunch of banding on it. It's really weird. Shout out to Khan. He just said, hi guys, Frostfangs here in all caps. Cassie said, who? Ceres has no idea who that is. Where we dropping, boys? That makes me sound like a Fortnite YouTuber, but sure. We're going to start out with Court because I feel like it makes the most sense. They have a Damba and also Emoji who's going for two and a couple other people will probably also have a decent amount of self heal and stuff. I'm sorry, Khan is my responsibility. I have no idea what's going on. There's my Q. That reversal obviously isn't going to hit anybody. Oh, yeah, I've definitely played with this. I remember the really, really strange effects on your dash that this has. Okay. Oh, this is going to be really, really weird. I haven't played Andro in absolutely ages. There's the Q. Reversal in the face. Oh, she has damage reduction, so that did barely anything. Can I get back up? Oh, shit. No, I can't because I failed. Hello, Moji. There's some hits for you. Oh, that nearly landed every single hit there. There's the Q, and she's gone. Nice. Wait, that was first blood. Why has it taken so long for there to be a kill in this game? Hello, Maldamba. What's popping, my guy? Ceres healed me. I'm probably dead here. There's a reversal and a punch. Oh my god, that worked. What am I doing though? What am I doing? Let's just run away from that damper real quick. Okay, we're doing all right. I think it probably adds to the weirdness, the fact that we're playing with a skin that I think I've only ever played once or possibly twice before, so that also is definitely making it feel a little bit more weird. Oh, if we land headshots on that Moji, we're going to deal crazy damage. Let's just wiggle around a little bit. We've nearly got the ult, and I'm going to try and position myself well when we use it. I'm going to try and block you. There we go. That worked. She should be dead. That's my phone vibrating. No idea what that is. I'll check it out in a sec. I'm going to die. Okay, we've got our all. I'm going to try and position myself here to do well with it. That Ash is ulted, but I'm just going to ignore that. Get rid of the Cassie. Can we get rid of Damba 2? I probably would have been able to there if I didn't goof, but get screwed, Eevee. The reversal Andrew is working out so far. I'm going to avoid that Moji because i got no health, although she's just healed me, so we're good. Oh, one more hit. Oh, no, she's so low. Can somebody finish her? She's got, like, no health left. That was a pretty cheeky headshot. I really like this weapon, though. The kickback actually um, strangely makes it easier to use. That's something I don't think I'd ever say, but I actually like this skin for Andrew. I feel like it's actually helping me land my shots or maybe it's just beginner's luck because it's been so long it's one of the two. <laughs> oh and also I haven't mentioned this in a little while but you guys have been killing it with the support on the videos really you guys have been absolutely shredding it with all the comments and the likes and stuff so massive shout outs to those of you guys that show love on the videos I really do appreciate it. Can we get rid of the Cassie she was really loud just gonna wait for it never mind because I got feared there's the Q reversal in his face oh shit we actually landed there okay Cassie's just here let's go ahead and deal some damage to her that Moji is annoying there's the Q oh it was like a millisecond too late let's finish off at quarter eyes. I'm actually enjoying this match so far. Even though even though I'm definitely not doing great so far this game, I'm actually really, really enjoying it. It's a ton of fun so far. Let's see if we can get rid of one of these guys. Ooh, ooh, I'll just go ahead and get two assists right there. Can't you got both of those kills? So that's probably going to be top play. I'll go ahead and finish off the Moji. There's my Q. Is she dead? Where is she? Okay, never mind. Thank you, Ceres, for the heal. That was somehow a headshot. Don't know how that works. We have got our ult, though, so I'm going to try and use that. That was such a good play by the Ceres there. She pulled two people and then Moji was forced to run away. Hello, there's the Q. This was bad. This 
was a bad idea. And that dealt no damage? Can I get a recount, please? What happened with that? Why did my reversal just deal literally no damage? I hit a square in the knee and it didn't do anything. Maybe there was a weird bug going on with Ash or something there, but it looked like it like kind of collided in between them, but then it ended up dealing zero damage. I'm going to ult here. Sure, let's go for it. That was annoying. Didn't realize Eevee had that up, but that's fine. There's the Q. Can we get a kill on you? There we go. I'm going to try and move the extra dash distance. Actually kind of messed me up there. And I also failed at saying the word dash because of my tongue tie. Let's finish you off. There's a triple. Nice. Oh, and a triple kill as an Androxus was a challenge that I just did. I haven't really looked at them, but there we go. I did it. Sick. Gone ahead and got Haven 2, even though I've been playing kind of mental. Uh, it's actually been kind of a passive game so far. There's not been um, that many kills. I would have totally got that kill if I didn't butcher that play. There's the reversal and you're gone. That wasn't enough to kill it. I thought that was going to do way more damage than it actually did there. That was um, a little bit strange. We've got Haven 2 and I'm actually kind of doing pretty well. I'm going to put it down to the fact that my muscle memory is kicking in. I'm not really thinking. I'm kind of just doing and that's why my commentary has probably been a little bit crap so far this video because I'm just letting my muscles do all the work. Where is everybody? Oh, hello, Ash. My glide was really, really weird there. That was some good damage. That's an ult from Maldan, but he really hates me, huh? He just solo ulted me for like the second time. I wonder why. That's usually because the person recognizes me or they just really hate going against flankers. It's got to be one of the two. That reversal didn't hit, but my god, Ceres is on point with these heals. She's definitely shown that she's got a bit of experience with it because she's landing them on me at like the perfect times to keep me alive. Icon is doing work, by the way. I think he's the person who called me out, so it's good to see him do well. That reversal got denied because of the goddamn ice block which has screwed me up a couple times. I kind of messed up my item selection a little bit. I went max court haven 2 and then I wasn't really sure what to go for so I have morale boost which is I'm um, not really helping me because I haven't done great with the ult so far. That reload's pretty slick. I don't know where I should be. Should I just drop down an ult over here? Should we just go for that? Sure. There's a fire. There's a fire. There's a fire. There's a fire. That wasn't enough to kill you. One more shot. Thank you. I died straight after to the Eevee because that was an abysmal play but that's just revenge for that damn Basol ulting me twice. It was a waste and I shouldn't have been playing into his goddamn mind games, but it's annoyed me the fact that he solo ulted me twice, so I felt like I had to do it. What's popping, Cassie? Oh, whoa, your lag is weird, and so is my accuracy, but we killed her in the end, luckily, because of the 100% required skill punch. There's a kill on Eevee. What's popping, damn, but anyone want to hit into me? There's a reversal. Hello, Moji, what's popping? You're on a 16 streak. There's my reversal. That got countered. Can I kill you, please? Oh, yes, there we go. She's off of her streak. There's my reversal. That was kind of smooth, and I'm back into the middle. What's popping, enemy team? How you guys doing? My dash has got so much distance on it because the cards. There's the ult. Uh, Damba just tried to ult me. Get screwed. That's what you get for trying to solo ult me again. Although I think there were actually other people there that time around. Headshot. Where is she? That missed. Oh no. Oh no. This is weird. There's the Q. Throw that into you. Thank you very much. I'm going to go ahead and dash round. Is this going to work? Hello, Eevee. Two hits. Three hits. She's out. Hello, Cassie. Oh, she's low. Cassie's got like no health left. Can we finish her off? She's gone. Oh my god. I hit the freaking thing right in front of me. That's annoying punch. She's gone. There's the Q. Where's that Ash stalted? I don't even know where that Ash is. Should I try and play the point. I think if we play the point, we might actually be able to win this. I'm going to go up and over and see if that works. We're going to reposition and go this way. There she is. Oh, no. No, that was so close. She's on legit like two health. There's the reversal. Didn't do enough damage because I hit down, but let's just get up here. There we go. I'm on like 900 health, so we're going to chill for a little second. I'm um, behind enemy lines. I don't like this. I do not like this. Damba is nearly gone. There we go. Nice. Eevee's out too. Cassie's hit. I'm going to try and block for the Cassie. That didn't work. We did hit it with that reversal, though. What's popping? We just changed places, and luckily, I have enough accuracy to get rid of you. That's good. I'm going to sit and play this point just so that we can possibly win this. There's some little cheeky cauterize applies onto the Ash. Oh, okay. I died to that Moji just about, but we did at least get rid of her. Going to get more kills here. Finish off Haven and morale boost. Holy crap, how many credits did I just have? I want the redemption story. I want us to win this. We're so close. We can totally do it. Damba is just here. I'm a little bit worried that he's going to have his ult up, so I'm trying to play it a little bit strangely and a little bit more safe than I usually would. Hello, Cassie. I'm going to go back this way real quick. There's the Q. Throw that back at your face. Is that going to work? Oh, you rolled the other way. You baited me. Is this Eevee a person or is she a bot? I'm actually not sure. No, she's playing too good to be a person or a bot, I mean. <laughs> Sorry, I got it the wrong way around. Let's go in and get rid of the Damba. Hello, what's popping, my guy? Oh, he ulted me. Well, he ulted everybody there. That's that's fine. We'll allow that one. He is gone, though, right? Oh, defeat. We lost? How much did we lose by? God damn it. I wasn't paying enough attention to the score. I think it was really, really close, though. Even though we lost, I still have top play, and I'm going to guess that I have pretty good stats, because I feel like I did okay. That game was really, really strange. I was just relying on my muscle memory for most of that. I made a bunch of bad plays, but we got top play somehow. I get rid of the Cassie with a reversal. We then get rid of the Eevee. I actually also somehow got rid of the Ash. Oh, that was the triple. I sprayed after it, too. That's just my instinct as well, is just spraying after I see that I get a triple kill. 
Hill. Super Senth said the real Frostfangs, and Elvis Baton said finally high in ELO to play with Frostfangs. I don't think my ELO is very high at all, considering how many videos I've made on silly loadouts. That was the Cassie and also the Ash. So, uh, Ceres did really good. Actually, 126k props to her. Cassie on our side was really rough. 314, 36k is pretty bad. Khan did pretty good, though. 86, 60k is not bad. Ruckus also did pretty good. 70k. I did better than I thought. 21 to 9. 90k. I felt like I had more damage than that, but they were mostly squishies. I wasn't really focusing Ash very much, so I guess that damage stat makes sense. The Cassie was really close to me, although stat-wise, I'm completely different. Moji did pretty good, although not that much damage. Damba did pretty decent. His ult was really, really annoying for a lot of that, and Ash did okay. Eva did okay. I feel like if we had a better player on the Cassie, that would have been in the bag. That was a ton of fun, though. I really, really liked that. I was expecting that to go significantly worse. It looks like for the second game, though, we're going to do Onslaught Foreman's Rise, which is a pretty good map for Android. I think I'd probably put this on the same sort of level as the one we just played, where it's not great for Andro. It's not terrible for him. It's kind of fine. The, the fact that there's a lot of cover is a downside because it means it's harder to get your stuff working properly, but at the same time, it's a benefit because it means you also have cover to die behind with your F and stuff. We've got a Khan. Again, we've got a Ying. We've got a Bomb King and a Lian. So that's a very similar team composition there. Double damage, a tank, healer, flank. Should I use a skin booster? No, I don't need to. I, I like this combo we got here. Though. Let me let me change the weapon. I want to use this one. Or should we use the Shatamore? No, that always messes me up. We'll not use that one. We'll go for this. On their side, we're up against Makoa, who's going to be kind of annoying. Sky, Willow, Drogos, and Damba. I'm just going to hope that the Makoa isn't really, really good, because if he is, he can counter my reversal with his timing, if he's really, really good with his hook, but he's diamond, so I'm going to guess that he's not too crazy good. Um, they have a Master Sky as well, whereas we don't have any borders with ranked stuff. A lot of high levels, though. I'm getting a way higher elo, like, match placement today. Everybody seems to be playing characters that they're better with, or at least more experienced with. Are we going to get Cauterize again, just to deal with the, the Maldamba? I guess I am. We've got Eminence Lian, who's hopefully going to shred. Storm of Bullets Khan is hopefully going to do the same thing. Focusing Lens Ying is a little bit worrying. I'm going to hope that that gets changed because that would be a bit of a pain to play with. I would rather have a Ying who focuses on heals and not damage. And she has got a healing loadout, so I don't know why she'd pick this. Maybe it's bait and she'll change it. I don't know. But they've got Hybrid Damba, Blast Flower, Fuse Alard, Debilitate. Obviously, it's the only way people play Sky these days. It still feels weird. I've got a little bit more practice now, but it still feels really strange to play Paladins after not playing for so long. I'm going to just wait one second then get this Willow when she's not expecting me. Oh, my skill is top-notch. Did you see that play right there? That was um, absolutely unbelievable and I actually still lost that fight. Oh my Christ. Literally, as I say I'm rusty, I make one of the most scuffed plays I've made in ages. I had that kill so in the bag and I think I missed like three shots and I missed a punch and I missed a reversal. That was just, that was a bunch of awkwardness. I'm going to go left. Oh, hello, Sky. Oh, why did I have to take ages there to get my pistol out? What was that? There was like a whole like second and a half there right? to just wait and look at my guy do an animation. Oh, Drogos. I can't go over that, apparently, but it's fine, because we can kill you from here. That wasn't even my kill. Let's punch down onto the Damba. That was such a dumb play. There's the Q and reversal. Oh, that was 1.2k. Pretty beefy. I think there's something weird going on with my animation stuff. Makoa is over here. Willow is up here. I can't make that jump. It's okay. I guess I'll just use my last little dash. You're gone. Three shots and a kill. That's all you need, boys. I like this weapon, I think, aesthetically more than the one we just used, because it looks really, really cool, and it's also covering up a little bit less on my screen. I don't know what tactic they're going for. I think their Mako is trying to like play a bit of a weird flank thing. I pulled up my Q there. How did I die? Wait, can I get a recount on this again? My reversal is doing something weird. How did I die here? Did I not pull up my reversal? She hit my toes somehow. Hello, Drogos. You're nearly gone. Oh, hello. Let's get rid of you instead. Oh, my accuracy is still ass, but at least I can do a little bit of work. I'm probably going to die here. I've got like 900 health. This damper can probably take me. Ying has got heals though, so props to her. Oh, that grab interaction was also weird. There's the Q. Makoa, why are you doing this, my guy? Why? I am totally dead if he hits me one more time, so... Okay, thank you, Khan. There we go. He can go finish him off. Cheeky spray. That's well-deserved, because he was playing super aggro on me. Yeah, this game's in the bag, not necessarily because of me. I'm playing pretty mediocre, pretty average, but the rest of my team is doing really, really good work. The freaking Lian's on 10, Khan's on 6. Uh, Ying, surprisingly, is also doing really well. She's not, obviously, doing very much on the healing side of things, but on the rest, she's doing a good job. We did still kill her there. I ain't looking too good. I'm just gonna chill. We're gonna reload and maybe go in? I don't know. Are you gonna hit me with that? You're gonna try to hit me with that? That didn't work, but I dealt 800 damage to at least, and he's gone. I just beat the freaking Andrew in an aerial fight. How does that work? My reversal might have hit the damper. So Ying has gone for focusing lens and max morale boost. I'm guessing she's going for something so that she can constantly spam the ult, and I can't even be mad, you know? I gave her a bit of shit at the start of this game, but you know, she's doing really, really well. I cannot criticize her at all. She's kicking ass. I've got max quarterized now, so we are countering 
in them heels. Oh, thank you for the free double. Thank you for the free triple. No, I said thank you for the free triple. There we go. Jesus Christ. Don't try and run away from me when I've already said something. You know what's up. I'm totally dead here. I'm screwed. I am on my way to Screwed City. Or never mind. I guess we'll kill him. I still died of Sky, so I still arrived at my destination. That's a Bomb King ult. Don't know where that's coming from. Oh, it's from our Bomb King. We have a Bomb King. I haven't even really had time to process the teams. It's been like four minutes and we're halfway through the match already. We've been absolutely running around doing work. I don't know who I should be focusing. Mako is being super aggressive, so I feel like I should punish him for it, but at the same time, I don't feel like that's fair. I feel like I should be going for the squishy characters because I'm a flanker, right? That's my job. He just emoted. I'll take a double and another cheeky spray. I feel bad about that one. I retract the spray. I retracted it. I retract the spray. I felt bad about that one, Mako. I, I didn't mean it. I promise. Am I going to sit on the objective and just dab? Is this what we're doing now? Is this Paladins in 2019 dabbing and chickens just everywhere? Is this, is this what we're doing? That Mako is really going for me. He really does not like me. I was just there dabbing on the point, and he'd had enough of my shenanigans, although it looks like Khan has also had enough of his. He's being thrown off any second. There we go. Rest in peace, Makoa. He's just kind of existing over there. That's weird. He eventually despawned, but why was he just there chilling? That was strange. Hello, what are you doing? You're gone. My team is just shredding them. I'm doing pretty average, to be honest, but my team is completely ruining their entire existence. Hello, there's some hits for you. I tried to deal damage before your shield popped up. Thank you for the free couple Ks. I am definitely not going to have top damage this match, but there's a couple extra 200 hits. Hello, Maldamba. I don't think he's a person. There's a reversal. That didn't hit, I don't think. There's the Sky ult. I got a thousand health. Do I really want to engage on the Sky who's over here? I guess we do. Oh, I'm healing up now. I'm out of combat. I feel like that triggered really quickly, but maybe I'm imagining it. She's still there. Yeah, she is. There's a good amount of damage. I'm dead to the Makoa. He sprayed me back, which is fair because I sprayed him. That's perfectly fine. And the victory at one point. There we go. Nice. Okay. That was a complete shred game. I don't think that Damo was a person for a little bit of that game there because he DC'd at the end. That was an okay game. I just feel like the teams were really disjointed there. My team was completely different to theirs. We were really, really well synced. I think some people on my side might have been partied because of how well they were meshing together, whereas on theirs, it was kind of the complete opposite. They were all over the place. Bunch of GGs in the chat, which I think is perfectly fair. I think that was a good game, although the teams um, were definitely mismatched. That was a, a lot of fun. I think that that was so much fun that I can probably go ahead and crown Andro um, the most fun character in Paladins. I feel okay saying that. For me, at least, I think Andro is the most fun. When I think about the entire roster of the Paladins characters, he is a perfect combination for me of just annoying the enemy team and also requiring a decent amount of skill to kind of do it, if that makes sense. I had no title idea in my head for this video today when I started recording it, but now, after having made the video, I kind of have something that I think makes sense. If you disagree, let me know. Who do you think is the most fun character in Paladins? Tell me in the comments, because I actually want to hear your guys' opinions on that, because for me, I think it's, I think it's got to be Andro. He's a lot of fun for me. Uh, Khan did pretty good. That was a smooth transition there. I did okay. 12, 500 seconds on the objective. 37k ain't too bad. Ying did surprisingly fine. Really thought she was going to get punished for going focusing lens, but she did a pretty good job. Lian carried that match, as you can see. 20 to 2, 60k. Well done. Round of applause for the Lian. She kicked the ass. And our Bomb King also did pretty well on their side. Damba was pretty rough. Jokos was pretty rough. Willow was pretty rough. Makoa did okay. He was more annoying than good. He was just playing Makoa and being really, really aggressive. And their Sky finally also didn't do very good. I go back to what I said like a minute ago. I feel like it's kind of difficult for me to say that Andro is the most fun character in Paladins. Even though I feel okay doing it, I feel like it's kind of difficult because Paladins just in general has a lot of fun characters. Koga comes kind of close. When I think about playing Koga and Talus, they come kind of close to Andro. And Strix also kind of comes close, but that's a different playstyle, so I don't know if I, I, I wouldn't really want to do that all the time. But I think maybe I just like Flankers more than I originally thought. Because now that I'm going through it, I really like playing Andro. Eevee's a lot of fun. Koga's a lot of fun. Talus is a lot of fun. Lex is a lot of fun. A lot of the flankers are a lot of fun, so maybe I'm just a flank person, but at the same time, I like playing supports and tanks and damages. Paladins is just, I guess, my game. I really like playing Paladins. It's a lot of fun. Even though I've been playing it for so long, I still genuinely enjoy making videos on the game. Because if there ever came a time where I wasn't enjoying making Paladins videos and I wasn't enjoying the game, I'd move over to making videos on other stuff, because I, I like playing games, I like playing Paladins, and I like making videos. And if any of those stopped, then I guess this channel wouldn't be here, but, but Paladins is still a hell of a lot of fun to me. If that ever changes, you'll probably find out pretty quickly, but um, I can't really see it any time in the foreseeable future. This game is still tons of fun. I've been with it for ages, and I, I really, really enjoy it. I don't know. I, I feel like if I keep talking, I'm going to turn this into a stuff video, so I'll maybe do one of those soon. We'll see. So I'm going to go ahead and crown my boy Andro as the most fun character in Paladins. For me, Koga, Talus, Eevee, Strix all come pretty close, and a couple other characters come pretty close, but I think he might be top. I think he might be the highest. So I'm going to end the video here. I might make a stuff video talking about 
a bunch of stuff sometime soon. That's kind of what the videos are about. So if you have any questions that you want to hear me talk about, drop them in the comments or just tweet me them. That would be great as well. But make sure you let me know it's for a stuff video or else I'll just try and answer it in the like reply. So <laughs> let me know if it's for a stuff video because I'm specifically asking you guys now. But thank you for watching. Leave a like if you've enjoyed. Let me know, of course, what you want to see me do next as well as any questions you got for the upcoming video I think I'm going to make. I'll see you all very, very soon. Leave a like if you've enjoyed. And as always, stay frosty.